Stevenson gets the 17-9 win over Ursinus in the season opener. Glenn Clark with head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, um, I'm sure there are things, and we'll talk about them, that you want to clean up and you want to do better. But given the quality of opponent, given the number of new faces, I would like to think that in general you'd have to be pretty happy with how you guys played tonight. Yeah, overall, I was really ecstatic about how we played. I mean, I thought the best thing I thought we did is that we played tough all night. Did a lot of really tough plays, scored some really tough goals, and that was great. And, uh, you know, and um, our defense led us a lot of ways, did a really good job. And, you know, Cam Leidiger Sr., you know, scored five goals, scored a bunch of tough goals, and so it was good. And what was great is that we played so many young guys as well. You know, we played a lot, our second poll as a freshman. We played three freshman midfielders. Uh, and they did a really, really good job. And, and Mitch is, you know, his first time playing a game number one for us, played a ton and did a good job. And uh, I'm really excited how we played. There's lots of things I think we need to clean up. But uh, overall, that's a tough go. And uh, I didn't think we played that well <laughs> seeing our first two scrimmages. But I thought we did a great job just playing tough and making the right plays. I, I, you know, we brought up the defense a lot during the course of tonight's game. I mean, this felt like a dominant performance. I know they ended up scoring nine goals tonight. Yeah. But but I, this really felt like an imposing of will. Um, did, did you know this was the type of defense that you had coming into the season? I know that, that we have a good defense. You know, I'm, I'm really happy about you know Matt Wilson who leads us down there. And I thought um, you know, and Nick Mulley, who's been a starter for us for a few years, has played great. But I thought the guy who really stood out was Ryan Quinn. You know, Ryan Quinn playing 22, they're a tough guy. Neil, he goes hard to the goal, and uh, he did a great job on him, caused a lot of turnovers, and really did a great job on him. So overall, you know, I thought Eddie and and Shell played a good job. I thought our midi D's, you know. 30, uh, you know, Luke Enzer and Thomas, 64, and 48, uh, Jansen played great, and Tepper got in there, so we had those four guys. It's great to rotate all of them, and I thought they really helped us in a great job, and then, you know, Nolan you know, facing off, you know, first go, uh, but he scored two goals for us, and that's what he has. He's going to get better. It's his first game in two years, and uh, so, you know, we're really ecstatic about some of the things we did, but the defense sets the tone for us, and I think the offense really you know, plays off of them. You, you know, even the faceoffs got better as the game went on. Yeah. You, you're, you're right, and we, we said it a couple times like yeah you know he, he, he scored two goals but things weren't going well but it, that even turned the corner as the game went on yeah you know no one hasn't played a game in two years you yeah. know what I mean so he transferred to us and then he got hurt and was out and so um now he's back into it and so once we get a couple other people healthy I think we'll start to really get a good flow but Nolan did a good job you know he's a big strong kid and you know imposed his will a few times and especially early in that first quarter got us a couple goals that really got the team going and and then I thought we had some other just great plays that were really uh, kind of characteristic of the toughness I think we need to play with all right let's talk about the the other stuff then let's just get it out of the way um the holding on to the ball and clearing <laughs> and the turnovers yeah. Uh, I would say that probably be very high on your list of things you got to well, move. You know, the clearings, like you know, the, all the plays were there. It's just that we kind of made poor choices, and I think that's the really frustrating part is that we worked really hard at that to make the right choices. And you know, we had four turnovers from our poles on clears alone in the first half, and you know, we've been so good at that. And I just think that we got to make better choices, and I think those guys understand that. You know what I mean? So we'll get better at that. We held the ball a few times, and I think we, you know, as we tell those guys, you know, we got to have, you know, two thirds of our goals got to be assisted. We got to yeah. bang that ball, drive, and do that. And we knew they were going to show a lot. And so we had the bang, and I think a couple times we didn't do that. And that, they got to play within our system, and we got to play as a unit. You know, six guys, uh, not one guy. You know, so I think at times when we really did that, we scored a lot of beautiful goals. And uh, but at times when we held it, kind of made it rough looking at times. But that's hey, when you got that many freshmen in the lineup trying to get them in the right places and getting to doing those things, uh, you're going to have that. But you know, but the guy who actually helped us tremendously in offense all day was. Uh, Josh Brandon moving from from midfield to attack, getting back there, and I thought he controlled the pace of the game for us and did a really good job getting the ball to the right person. And and with his you know handicap of you know uh, being deaf and having where the implant and everything, he's just unbelievable what he's able to do. I think the thing that really uh, you come away from this, yes, you can clean up some of these things, but this team is to your point young. New faces uh, is probably going to get better, and that's what to me is most exciting about this performance. Yeah, I think we are going to get better. You know, we've been better each year. You know, we weren't too great in our scrimmage against Cabrini. We were much better against Hampton Sydney. We we're great tonight, I think, and we'll get better. Uh, but you know, I, what I really take away from is just the toughness we played with. You know, if we can play with this toughness all year, you know, we're going to have a chance. Coach, congratulations on the win. Congratulations on the Hall of Fame. It's great to see you. We'll see you back here next Saturday night. Appreciate it. Have a good one. It's Coach Paul Cantabene. I'm Glenn Clark. GoMustangSports.com.